what's going on y'all it's your boy alex make sure you like make sure you subscribe it's been a while since i did a car chronicle but i had to come to you guys and break down some stories because i heard two really sad stories about people i grew up with man one being a friend i went to high school with and another one being my cousin and i want to tell you guys you never win chasing fast money okay listen unless you come from a blue chip family and by blue chip family i mean you like one of the waltons the family that owns walmart or you one of the buffets or you one of the bushes like the bushes keep being presidents or something like that one of the kennedys unless you come in for money you are gonna have to grind okay you're gonna have to start small and work your way up you're gonna have to build you're gonna have to invest you're gonna have to get into a good relationship with someone who's smart and building and investing as well so that y'all can turn your family name around and that's okay you gotta fall in love with the grind you gotta love the grind because the grind builds character a lot of kids who were just born into money they go crazy they go insane like the disney kids who get money young or like um frank ocean made the song super rich kids you know what I'm saying they doing drugs and all this other, other extra stuff because they don't feel that love because their parents are never home because their parents are always chasing the back. There's a downside to everything. Money is not everything. But the reason I'm saying this to you guys is because, especially in this generation, this microwave generation, everybody wants to make that one YouTube video that's going to make them pop. Come up with that one dance or that one song that's going to make them pop or that one business idea that's going to make them pop. They never want to stick to anything. The business isn't doing well. They close the business down. They don't want to take entry-level jobs. These people don't want to work. You guys got to break out of that and stay the path and grind grind okay and any a job is better than no job at the end of the day a job is always better than no job and let me tell you guys why i'm saying all this to you so my cousin right when we were younger all right this is one of my favorite cousins we hung out all the time but when we were younger his my uncle wasn't as blessed financially as my mom my mom was by no means rich but my uncle made some decisions where he wasn't as blessed financially. So what happened was me and my cousin never went to the same school until we went to high school. We went to the same high school. At that high school, he used to always get picked on. They used to always call him dirty. Call him dirty D, dirty this, da, 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 da. They were always talking about him. So what happened is he started to steal clothes. One time he stole some clothes. He forgot to take the pen off the clothes. So then they started talking to about him because of that. I told him he worried about the girls. He worried about people talking about him, all that stuff. So what did he do? He eventually did what most black men did. He chased it to fast money. He started selling drugs and game banging. I told him then, I said, yo, you don't have to do that. Why don't you sell waters? Like me, when I was in high school, I sold candy. I used to go to like Sam's Club and BJ's and stuff, buy a bunch of candy and sell it at a cheaper price than the school store was selling it. Now they got mad at me and kicked me out. I eventually had to sell it outside. But my point is, I'm like, why don't you do something that's not like illegal that won't land you in jail? But he's like, nah, I need to get to the real money. I need to get to the real money, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, why don't you work in fast food? So I'm like, he's like, nah, I'm not doing that, okay? So he went out, joined the gang, started pushing drugs, all right? Now, he was fine all the way up until I ended up going to college. He was still okay. But then he got locked up. What happened was there was a man who was murdered. He was on the scene of that murder. At first, they tried to charge him with that murder. But later on, they didn't have enough evidence. So they just got him with a weapons charge. He did two years in jail, okay? He did two years in jail. Two to three years in jail. So when he gets out, the first thing he does is call me. Now, y'all know I fled my state because I couldn't deal with my mom and my sisters and being under their thumb. So as soon as I turned 18, I left, went to college, and I never came back. I built my kingdom where I went to college at. So he called me as soon as he got out. He like, hey, cuz, I'm out, blah, 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 man. Dang, I know you don't live here no more, whatever the case may be. But, you know, I want to see you. I want to talk to you. I'm like, yo, as soon as I get around, I'm going to see you. I'm going to talk to you. But, yo, what you going to do as far as making money? Right? He's like, yo, I'm going to do it the right way this time. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to get a job. I'm not going to be in the streets. I'm going to get a job or whatever. So he ended up getting a job at McDonald's. Okay. Fast forward. I come to visit that Thanksgiving and I find out he back in the streets. Apparently the McDonald's money wasn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? Apparently the Burger King money wasn't good enough. He wasn't getting no enough hoes with that money. His boys was making fun of him with that money. His family was making fun of him with that money. Because you got to understand, a lot of these boys, when they go to the streets and they sell drugs, they bring a lot of that money back home. Like I said, my uncle wasn't as blessed. So I think that he was taking some of that. But that's neither here nor there. And I remember my mom got mad at me because she was like, yo, he needs a ride to come down for Thanksgiving. And at that time, I still had my charger with the tents, with the chrome tailpipes, with the rims. Before it got hit from the back, I decided not to customize any cars anymore because i was so pissed that my insurance didn't cover my parts but anyways i'm like i'm not about to go in this small town in central new york where i'm from and pick up my game banging cousin who then went back to the streets to make fast money because he didn't want to work at the job and get money the long way and pick him up and possibly get shot or shot at in this car that they're not used to seeing here no i'm not doing that mom's got mad at me anybody got mad at me i don't care i was like yo i'm not doing that so he wakes his way down there we chill about three weeks later he back in jail somebody done got shot again his name's in the mix again Okay, now again, he gets lucky. He doesn't exactly get charged with the murder. 
All right. So now six years passed this time, guys. He just got out about eight months ago. I'm like, yo, do not go back to the streets, yo. Work a regular job. Get your CDLs or I don't know. Get a financial advising license. Get your sales force popping. Go back to college. Do something, but do not go back to the streets. The fast money is not worth it. He's like, yo, I'm not going to do it this time because I'm not going to do it this time because I'm about to go to New York. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start my whole life over. I'm going to get out of the environment, away from the bad influences. Da, 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 da. And he was doing good. Matter of fact, he hit me up about two months ago. I was like, yo, I'm about to come down there. I'm about to come visit you. I'm like, oh, you coming down here? Yeah, come down here. Come down here. We about to get lit. We about to get turned up. So I ended up chilling with my family down here. He never came. My mom's text me probably like two days ago telling me that he just got charged with murder. He went back to the streets, back to the fast money because he didn't have the patience to wait for the grind. The regular job wasn't good enough. Let me tell you guys about this girl I went to high school with. I went to high school with this girl. We're going to call her Lil' Dark Skin because I ain't going to say her name. Lil' Dark Skin was super smart, always got good grades, but she was super skinny, and so she never really got male attention like that, okay? Now, when she went to college, she couldn't really afford it. She ended up having to drop out. She went to a community college, graduated from the community college, but her grades wasn't as good in the community college as it was in high school, so she couldn't really get to the next level four-year degree, okay? Whatever the case may be, I lost contact with her for like eight years, but how I ran into her is I'm on Twitter. I'm scrolling on Twitter. I see this girl on OnlyFans. I'm like, oh, dang. She looked kind of familiar. So I look harder. I'm going, yo. That's the shorty I went to school with. So immediately I go back to Facebook because you don't really reach out on Twitter. I go back to Facebook. I reach out. I'm like, yo, what's good? Like, you know, you are OnlyFans now or whatever the case may be. She like, yeah, you know, I couldn't get through college because of, uh, you know what I'm saying, the money or whatever the case may be. Don't judge me. I'm like, I'm not judging you. I was just, you know, I was just asking. She's like, don't judge me, but this is good money. It's really good money. I don't have to take all my clothes off and da 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 blase, blase, blase. Now, for those of you, I'm going to upload the video to YouTube, but for those of you who follow the podcast, y'all know I made the stages of how it starts one way but goes another way. So at first, she was just posting photos in her bra and her panties or whatever the case may be. But you know, she got a lot of subscribers initially, but then they fell off. She like, damn, why'd they fall off? Well, because you got to escalate. So then she went to post the news, which she said she wasn't going to do. Okay. Got a lot of subscribers, but then they fell off again. Why? Because now you got to escalate. So then she went to doing girl on girl. Got a lot of subscribers, fell off again because now they want to see you take D. So then she went to taking D. But she never was mentally strong enough to really take me. You guys got to understand, when y'all see these strippers out here, and y'all think these strippers is popping, y'all think these prostitutes and these escorts is popping, these OnlyFans girls is popping, I told you guys, as a woman, to give your womb out like that, to deal with all that energy, because we push, women pull, so you sucking in all that energy, all that demonic energy, all that sexual energy from men who don't really care about you, it takes a mental toll. What y'all don't understand is a lot of those girls are on cocaine, a lot of those girls are on meth, a lot of those girls are on heroin, a lot of those girls are popping pills, they are not in their right state of mind. So this girl started popping pills and taking stuff so she could do these girl on girl scenes. So she could do these male scenes along with these girl on girl scenes. So what happened was now she getting her back blown out. She's dealing with girls. She's dealing with dudes. And her subscribers fell again. And she's like, damn, well, how can I escalate from that? I don't know if I can escalate from that. So I go back online. You get what I'm saying? And I see a video on the street. They're like, dang, these girls be coked out nowadays. They be drugged out. They don't even be knowing what's going on. I'm like, dang, who that? And guess who it was? The girl I went to high school with, coked out, out of her mind, on the block like this, don't even know what's going on. Because she had started taking drugs to deal with the fact so she could escalate to doing girl on girl and doing boy on girl scenes for her OnlyFans. And the subscriber dropped down again because they wanted her to escalate some more. Now, she's drugged out. Now, she barely even remember who she is. Now, she's, she's a druggie now. She's a druggie. And this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. I don't give a damn if it's Burger King. I don't give a damn if it's McDonald's. A job is a blessing. I don't know what's up with this generation. Everybody wants to be rich and nobody appreciates the average lifestyle no more anymore. But there is nothing wrong with being average. There's nothing wrong with having a regular car and a regular house and a regular family and a regular drive. And if you do strive for more, because I always teach you guys to strive for more because I strive for more, that's okay. But do it the right way. Like I tell you guys all the time, don't be out here trying to scam people. Don't be out here trying to hustle. Don't sell your body. Go ahead. Work at McDonald's. Go ahead. Work at Burger King. Work at Target. Work at Walmart. Walmart. Take that money and use it to pay for college so that you can come out and get that degree and get a better job. Take that money and use it to pay for C C trade school so you can get your CDLs or whatever and come out and get a better job. You can get your hat back and come out and get a better job. Take that money and put it into your own business so you can grow your own business and get a better job. You guys got to realize the strength is built in the grind. 
pressure busts pipes, but it also makes diamonds. You have to be patient. If you do not come from money, you're not just going to get money. You have to be patient. You got to fall in love with the grind. Because when you get money fast on your OnlyFans or using your body, you get money fast in these streets selling drugs or whatever the case may be. Quick money goes fast. Anything worth having takes time. Just as fast as you got it, it's going to be taken away from you. Then you end up in jail. Or then you end up dead. Or then you end up coked out. Or then you end up with an STD. And now what? You guys have to look at your job as a blessing. Because at the end of the day, I know your boss, like I said to you guys before, I know your boss always in his, your face and his breath stink. It smell like coffee. I know your boss always in your face and she be PMS and mad about everything. But at the end of the day, if you have a roof over your head, if you have a car that can get you from point A to point B, if you have some type of money in your pocket, you got to look at that as a blessing because it could always be worse. And when you guys see these guys, they out here, y'all think these drug dealers is popping. Y'all think these OnlyFans girls is popping. Like I said, a lot of these dudes, they facing death every single day. A lot these girls they popping pills they on coke they are on all types of drugs it's not what it seems to be take your job as a blessing fall in love with the grind it's gonna take time but that's okay we got time because of medical advances humans have never lived longer than they live now on average take your time fall in love with the grind learn to be appreciative what comes fast and easy usually takes you out fast with it a fast life usually leads to a fast death i repeat a fast life usually leads to a fast death slow down y'all take your time Take your time, because when you get my age, you start look back at a lot of people you grew up with, and you see a lot of people who made bad decisions, and you're like, damn, man. And you just remember how they was as kids or whatever the case may be growing up, and you're like, damn, man, I can't believe you in that situation right now. And I don't want to see that happen to you guys. Fall in love with the grind. It's better to get your money slow. Live your life slower. Everything is not microwave. Okay, you're not just gonna blow up, but that's okay. Fall in love with the grind. Your time's gonna come. You gotta believe that the universe is gonna put you on your time on time. God's gonna put you on your time on time. You gotta believe that. Do not fall victim to the matrix and this idea you gotta be rich. There's nothing wrong with being average. Whatever it is you want, that's okay. You can get it. And like I said, if you do want the pop and lifestyle, that's fine, but take your time. Don't rush it. Take your time. That's my message for today, y'all. I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.